let's explore few APIs from JSON Web. So the one API which I'm trying to talk about is JSON object. Using this JSON object, you can construct the JSON object, then the same object can be serialized as a JSON. So how to do that? So now just create what you know, the instance for JSON object. So by using this JSON object, you can call the method. So there is a few methods you can see, add property with a string, number, boolean, and character. If you want to add a complex object to the JSON object, you can add it using what you know, JSON method, right? So now let's create what you know, the sample student object. So I'm creating what is the student ID, I'm passing the student ID, then obj dot add property, the field name is name, the value is finish, right? So now I'm going to add what? obj dot add property. Now maybe you can, you know, you can add what you know, the, the gender, I'll say the gender, gender, I'll mention the single character, that's nothing but what you know, male, right? So now we added what you know, the number, string, and character to the JSON object. So now let's add what you know, array to the JSON object. So how to do that? So JSON array, you have another class called JSON array, where you can create an array. So JSON array, I'm going to add JSON array dot add. You can see what you, know, you can add a boolean, number, string, and character. Then you can add what you know, that element itself. If you want to add a complex object, you can use this object, right? So if you see that typically, so this JSON object as well as JSON array, both extends what you know, JSON elements. So you can add what you know, both JSON array as well as JSON object as what you know, JSON element, because anyhow, both are actually extending what JSON element. So that's something we, we can use it. So here I want to add, then string so the string is going to be what is the student uh, degree for example i will say the degree is bs then i'm going to add what you know array dot add i'm going to say ms so the so student name is student id is one at one student name is dinesh and the gender is male and we added what you know the two degree so that is a bs and then ms so we're going to add this object to what you know existing JSON objects so to do that you know JSON dot add you can see what you know you can to choose this since we I told you already so this JSON object as well as the JSON array both are actually a type a type of uh, instance of uh, JSON element so you can add it using I'll say degree let me add this array right so now you can consider our JSON object is ready. So we have three field and then we have one array. So now let's convert this JSON object to what you know, JSON. So when I say convert, we're going to serialize that. So using JSON builder, GB equal to new JSON builder, right? So GB dot, I'm going to do the pretty print so that we will have a good printing. Print result has an output. So get the JSON object using the JSON builder dot create now system dot print and then I'm gonna say JSON dot to JSON to JSON I'm gonna add what our object so what is what is our object we have what you know the JSON object so let me add that let me serialize we'll see what's gonna happen here we go you have what the student object is created I mean the student JSON object is created you have a student ID you have a student name gender you have a degree so degree actually consists of array so which holds what you two element so you have a lot of useful methods available as part of the json array as well as json object you can explore them you can use it as part of your application thanks for watching